less than 8 4 special right triangles just done the Pythagorean theorem and you can blast it out every time but as I've shown many times you know triples you can save time you don't have to do all the math you know where it's gonna end up here's another two cases where you can save some time these are special triangles the first one's called the 45 45 90 called because it's got 45 degrees 45 degrees and 90 degrees now if you look at that it could also just be a triangle where it's an isosceles right triangle because you know you're gonna have 45 degrees 45 degrees 90 degrees or I could just say it's got two sides of the same and a right angle Got all sorts of options here now if you sit down and do this say well a squared plus a squared since they're both the same you don't need a b equals c squared 2a squared equals c squared square root of both sides c equals root 2 times a so no matter what when I know I have this c is always going to be root 2a so here's how it works you give me a triangle you tell me one side is 12 tell me there's a 90 and 45 degree angle I know therefore this one's 45 I immediately say, oh, the isosceles triangle, this is 12. Oh, it's a right triangle with 45, 45, 90. This is 12 root 2. I don't have to go 12 squared plus 12 squared square root. I already know where it's going to go. It saves me a fantastic amount of time and leads to the study of trig at a higher level. So you can do that going forwards and you can do that going backwards. Forwards was here. We start with a leg and we go to this. We multiply by root, tw root 2. Backwards would be going this way. We would divide by root 2. As you know, you cannot divide by a radical. So instead of doing that, we rationalize and we get 8 root 2 over 2, also known as 4 root 2. But before I do that, Let's just look at that. If I have an 8, this side automatically becomes 8 root 2 over 2. That's the same thing as dividing by root 2. Once we do all the math from there, we say, oh, yeah, that's right. We've got to reduce, and we get 4 root 2 over here. And we get 4 root 2 up here. A little bit trickier, but once you've done it a few times, you recognize it's not that hard. So here's some more practice for you. This is 10 root 2, and it's a 45, 45, 90. Try these two on your own. See if you can do them. I'd pause the recording. And now I'll do them. 10 and 10, because 10 root 2. And root 2 times root 2 is 2. Times 7 is 14. And this would be 7 root 2. So you can be very quick at these problems without having to go through all the math of a squared plus b squared equals c squared. A big time saver. Now 45, 45, 90, you really only had to memorize that one or two things. The second triangle is a 30, 60, 90. It's a little bit trickier. You can read the theorem if you want. Here's what I do. Across from the 30 degrees, I call that the short side. And I abbreviate it SS. C, of course, is the hypotenuse. And B, I call the long side. LS. Well, I always try and find the short side first. Long side across from 60, of course. And if we know the short side, we know that this is going to be A root 3. And this is going to be 2a. So again, find the short side, double it to get the hypotenuse, multiply by root 3 to get the long side. And in case you ever want to do the proof, just take a equilateral triangle and cut it down the middle. And you'll say, oh, well, if this whole side was 6, then this part has to be 3. Then you sit down and do Mr. Pythagoras to get X, and you'll find out it's 3 root 3. One of our favorite problems. 
will be to give you an equilateral triangle and have you figure out that it's two 30, 60, 90s next to each other. So again, let's do some practice. This is across from the short side, so this one's very easy for me. I know if that's 6, this will be 6 root 3. Double 6, so that's here to here. And double 6 to get the hypotenuse is 12. I don't have to do all the a squared plus b squared equals c squared. It's a lot easier. This one is trickier. Gave you 8. I always go for the short side first. Remember last time, instead of dividing 8 by root 3, it's the same as multiplying by root 3 over 3. So we get 8 root 3 over 3. And this time we don't have to reduce because there's nothing to reduce. And then to go from short side to long side, we double it. So just 16 root 3 over 3. First few times I show this to people, they're very confused. You will get it. It's not that hard. So what kind of triangle is this? To write triangle, one side is double the other side. Do we know for sure it's 30, 60, 90? Yeah, we do. This has to be 30. This has to be 60. This, of course, is 90. So if we know the short side, we go from there to the long side. We just slap a root 3 on it. Try the last one on your own. See if you can do it. It's tricky. This is the long side. So this one is 7 over root 3, also known as 7 root 3 over 3. And this side is double that, 14 root 3 over 3. Challenging stuff. Practice, practice. You will get a lot of practice. See how you do. Good luck.